Hi, I'm Heather Kay, and this is a rocket stove that I'm going to attempt to make from recycled, reclaimed bricks. So what I've done is I put these three bricks here, and I found it from another YouTuber, and I'm going to have to link it below because I can't remember who I saw from. I uh, YouTubed um, rocket stoves, and the first video I came across was bricks, but these are repurposed bricks. I already got level. I'm going to show you that they have some mortar in that. I'm not too concerned about that. It could fall over. It is level, or it was level. Nope, still level. This um, back brick probably could use to be built up just a little bit. In this upper corner. That's level. That's level. <laughs> it's level. <sighs> Gonna add some more bricks. This here part is where the air goes in and this side is where the wood's gonna go in. I'm okay. over here trying to pick out some good bricks. I think that down. This one here has a little bit of mortar in it. It's gonna go right there. See that? So that mortar piece is underneath there. This one here doesn't have any. A little bit on the end. About there. Now, the mortar pieces have to go on the outside. I think once I get this brick in place, I'll uh, move it closer for you guys. Now, why did I think? Oh, this is this flat piece. A little mud on there. This is where the wood's going to go in. I'm just going to pause this video so you're not watching me upside down. And move the bricks over. I'm getting pretty dirty. Okay. So what we have here is I got like the little irregulars with half of it. Uh, there's some really unusual bricks here. I leveled that as much as it's going to be level. But we're not really going to guarantee any level pieces today. These are the half ones with the half mortar. I'm not going to use them. But what I found over here, I found four clean bricks. So I use a clean brick right here. Okay. So first I gotta put one here. Because that's not quite held in place. This brick holds it in place. Uh, I'll put the clean side towards the inside because these bricks are repurposed. This is a nice looking brick. Like um I'm, I'm starting to give up on the fact that this might not be leveled only because the bricks got a lot of this uh, junk on it. Okay. This may or may not work because as far as it being level, as soon as I get that little level there and this one here going to need a brick on it like that. I shouldn't have did that. That's how I hurt my hand, what you just saw me do. Tapping stuff in place. Yeah, this is, uh, oh, that's not too, too bad considering. I'm trying to find bricks here that are off the same consistency. Like same uh, let's see, this one's got a little bit of a different lip. Here's a straight one. So, how many is that? Four? I see that's supposed to be the weight off this one here. Whoop! Oh, you didn't see that. The weight of this one is supposed to hold this one up. But there's a little bit of interference there. No, that's only for airflow. I don't think that's gonna matter. Gotta use what you got, right? This is not fancy. Let's say we're in an emergency zombie apocalypse uh, situation. I'm just trying to look for the most evenest, evenest, <laughs> the most even pieces. I'm putting the irregular, irregular pieces like this on the outside. This is me having fun. Using what you got for a rocket stove. 
this is going to be my first attempt. It's not going to be perfect. If supper ends up all over the ground, I'm going to get myself a pizza or eat some of that dehydrated fruit. <laughs> the really, really regular pieces. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. I think they use six. Piece. I'm looking for the smoothest pieces. Six. Okay. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, uh, sixteen, and seven is twenty-three, twenty-four for the two halves. I think it's twenty-four. Oops, that's 23 bricks, a D27. I need another layer. On my thing. We have that. <laughs> Wait, before I put that on. It's level in the center, yes! It's not level there, but it's level this way. All right, for some reason, these two sides are level. Gotta find my frying pan. That's all I'm gonna make for tonight. I'm gonna get the fire going. These other bricks are in bad shape. I'll see if I can make another rocket stove with them later. So far, so good, hey? God, I like how I make videos, eh? I use what I got. Stay tuned. I don't like this thing. I thought it'd be fun for you to watch me move this tractor. So, you know, it's really me. side. There's a gear in the way. I got that tractor locked and put away for the night. Now I gotta gather up some wood. <sighs> I gotta stay hydrated. <laughs> right back. It's getting pretty dark here. I took off my boots. I put the wood in there. I have this here. Take that out. I got this is brand new. Can't use my hand. I tried. You gotta hold it down. Now I have a fire rod, but I'm just using this right now. You know what? I don't have paper there. I threw paper towel in there. I wish I had more paper. Let's see if that catches. What I have here is I bought a new cast iron frying pan. I'm gonna have to go look for some paper. It's pre-seasoned uh, because I forgot my cast iron stove. And uh, it's ready to use. It's got a removable silicone handle. You can see in the picture there's some water. It's gonna blow water in there. It's for gas, electric, ceramic, induction. You can put it in the oven up to 400, hand washed, do not use in a dishwasher. It's got a lifetime warranty. It's oven and barbecue safe. And Heather K rocket stove. Got the air underneath, the wood here. I see some smoke. I think that's because that's the cardboard that's a uh, paper towel that's burning. Let me take a look. Oh, it's open. It's not gonna let it burn a little bit. Now this silicone comes off, but uh, that be my knife. <laughs> a 
leave it to Heather K to actually have a knife. This is my tiny, 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 tiny little knife. <laughs> All right. I got to cut off this, uh, what do you call it? A little, wah, ta-da. <laughs> that little silicone handle, which is removable. Houston, we have a problem. I need paper. Oh, it's burning there. It went out on me that quickly. But I wasn't ready. Okay, stay tuned. We're going to have to take two. Because I had no paper. Yeah. I got it going. And it's level in the center, but it's not level that way, but it seems to fit. You need to come up a couple more levels. It should be six um, or seven. Because that, because uh, you need it up about that high. Yeah. Because it'll chimney properly. Well, that's all I'm going to have tonight for supper because those pieces are irregular. Okay. I just got a little tractor work to do and then I'll be done. Okay. Did you need me to do anything? Uh, no, but uh, tomorrow we're definitely getting chains. Chains? Okay. All right. I'm going to finish making my video here. See if I can boil some water get that pot cleaned out for us. Oh, yeah. Let's see if it goes. It's a brand new cast iron pan because you know why? Because the, all the cast iron frying pans aren't at this location. I need help in everything. Let's see if Heather Kay can boil water. I'm going to wash that frying pan out. And that's the one here I'm going to boil water with. I have one over here for drinking. So, I burnt all my paper. <laughs> um, I put some cardboard down there again. I'm not sure if I packed too much in or there's not enough of the little twigs um, to get it going. I had a nice fire, but it didn't catch. So I'm thinking that maybe the wood I had wasn't dry enough. Um, and I should have let it dry uh, more of a fire before I put that on. I need to find more kindling. So I'm gonna go get my boots back on and go back to the woods and so we can come up with some better stuff to burn. Uh, I'm back at the fire. Nova Supernova told me that I was, uh, there's stuff in my pan, but I'm just boiling water. Um, I'm not cooking out here on this video. I'm just showing this irregular rocket stove use that we got. I took the best quality bricks from what I got. I actually went and got some uh, kindling, dry kindling. I got some um, envelopes. Got myself a little bit of a flame. So I gotta make sure there's a better fire before I uh, put the um, water on, see if I can make it boil. So I'll just kind of sit and wait. I wish I had a good uh, campfire story. I wish my uh, cousin Lloyd was there. I'm full of sap on my wrist. I'm going to try taking it off. I don't want to lose my paper. Now see back that there stuff that's blown up? It's because I, I put this cardboard in because I didn't have any paper. So I got some uh, paper from uh, Nova Supernova. He says, we got a lot of paper. It's like... The guys in the video, they only use like one piece of paper, so I've used an envelope and a little piece of paper from um, French fries, like a little carton, you know, something a little lighter than this here, cardboard stuff. She logs in. See if I can get those burned. Oh, we got a fire going now! Got all the logs pushed in. What is that? Oh, that must be the old cardboard that's burning there. I can hear the rocket roar. What? I can hear the rocket stove. It says it it will roar. Oh yeah? Is it doing it now? Yeah. Uh oh, I probably shouldn't have did that so quickly. I think I just killed no, I didn't kill the fire. I'm putting this back on. Is this great? See, it's a good fire there. Yeah. It should probably be a little more fire, but I'm just all I'm doing is pouring water. Just give that a little rinse. What do you want to have for supper? I don't know. I gotta fill up the uh, excavator. Okay. I can see the fire. That's a good fire. I'm really impressed. I I had a little bit of difficulty earlier with the fire because, um, like that, really really dry. I don't know if that's something I want to burn. Not here anyway. And um, 
I have these little pieces of wood, but I think they were just too wet. Let me see if I can crack one. Yeah, it's, if it's dry, it, it, it that feels like it's uh, very uh, moist still. Like, like a fire coming out of the bottom. I can see the flame here. So, uh, what else we got? Convenient side handles facilitate lifting. There's the side handle. Uh, ready to use. Removal stain cool silicone sleeves. See, I don't know if I'm supposed to leave that sleeve on. I didn't want to chance it um, with an open flame. I can see the water um, looks like it could be starting to boil. So, uh, I think my job's done. It's too bad that I put that cardboard in there because that stuff is still uh, flying up the, the paper from it. I sh should have uh, checked my wood source first, but hey, I do know how to make a fire and I cheated. I have a fire steel. I can even make fires without matches. And I even bought one of those um, magnifying glass because Lloyd Hell Paul Sr. said he could uh, start a fire with that. So. There's even fire coming out this side. All I want for this video is for water to boil. So let's pretend I'm cooking. Yeah, well, it's not boiling yet, but it's definitely steaming. Probably shouldn't do that. If I can dry that up. It's got a nice flame on it. Got enough wood in there. Hopefully, it has enough air. I can still see a flame. That's it. This is um, a rocket stove. I've seen it on YouTube. I will be giving credit to the guy who who did this, and him and his wife. They actually made a meal when they did theirs, and they had all dehydrated food. I do have dehydrated food here at the camp. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be um, using dehydrated food here tonight. I doubt I'll be cooking for you tonight. I'm just uh, getting ready. Um, part of the reason why I'm not 100% sure if I want to cook on this tonight is because I'm check checking. These bricks have been sitting at the cabin for about six years, uh, to, uh, almost six and a half years that I've known Nova. Uh, supernova. I borrowed some of these bricks. I made a fireplace, uh, fire put at home, uh, my house. And so some of these bricks here, I, I tried to pick the best ones. He says it should be higher. Um, I don't know. I think these rocket stoves, they're, they're very short. You can build them on a higher base. So I don't know what's going on. I have it right down on the ground. Um, you guys can see the steam's coming off. It's definitely cooking. I can hear the roar of the rocket. So I could see the flame. The flame's even coming up this side. I pushed the wood in. Ooh, it must have burned somewhat because I'm it snows all the way in now. Which I think is pretty cool. I enjoy sitting here and uh, uh, watching water boil. <laughs> so at least I'm not gonna starve here at the camp. Hopefully uh, this rocket stove holds up and I actually do get a meal on it. I'm gonna say that for another video. Um, you guys can see that this is warm enough. So that's it for my video. Thanks for watching. Um, I did it. I made my first rocket stone. See you real soon. You know what to do. Yay me! <laughs> well, here's the picture of the finished rocket stove. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. You know what to do. Press like and subscribe. See you real soon.